Good morning. Welcome to another edition of Take 5. It is Thursday, May 19th, 2011. And we are in Matthew chapter 21. So, we are in verse 12. And Jesus entered the temple and drove out all who sold and bought in the temple. And he overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold pigeons. He said to them, It is written, My house shall be called a house of prayer, but you, made it, you make it a den of robbers. Now Jesus is heading toward Jerusalem, toward the cross, and he's actually in Jerusalem here. And he goes into the temple. And we read in other accounts where he actually took a whip out of cords and started driving people out. And he may have done this a couple of times or more in his ministry, but this is toward the end. And he, he goes in and he turns over the tables of the money changers and those who sold pigeons. And you can imagine these people weren't too happy. Let me explain what was going on. When people would come to worship and offer their sacrifices, they had to offer some kind of animal. But animals uh, were, uh, apparently, they would not accept your own animal. You couldn't bring an animal from your farm or, or from your house or your town that you lived. You had to buy their animals. And in the temple area, in the temple courts, probably not the actual inside the, the, the inner sanctuary of the temple, and certainly not in the most holy place, but in the temple courts, we had a business going on. Because not only did you have to bring, did you, you couldn't bring your own animal, you had to buy the animals they sold. Those were the only ones that would pass their inspection, see? They had to inspect every animal and make sure it was uh, didn't have any blemishes and they just automatically would not accept any other animal so you had to buy their their animals their pigeons their doves their lambs and the thing is they also they would not accept the Roman currency you had to have the special temple currency so they had a racket going first you had to take your money and exchange it for temple treasury money and it was not an even exchange believe me these guys were making they were making out like bandits on this exchange and some of you have been to foreign countries and you know you have to change your money and and uh, usually you just get charged a nominal fee to do that well these guys were charging outrageous fees to change over the money from the Roman money to temple money then you had to buy their animals and they were charging uh, up to ten times as much as what the animal would be worth and some of you have dealt with this kind of thing when you've gone to a theme park and bought a hot dog or bought a coke and it's it's a uh, you know ten dollars for a coke or something crazy like that you know it's a, it's a lot more there because you have to have it you don't have any options so that's why Jesus says you've you've taken what should be a house of prayer the temple area is a place where Everybody could come. You didn't even have to be Jewish. Everybody could come and pray and worship God. That was the point. It, a, prayer, a, a temple of prayer for all nations. Now you had to be Jewish. You had to be one of God's children to go into the inner sanctuary part of it. But the outside was for everybody. And these guys had taken what should be a place of prayer and had just turned it into what he says a house of robbers. Because they were literally stealing from the people by charging these outrageous fees. And, and Jesus was really upset about it. You know, God gets upset when you turn worship into business. And we see that. We see that. I don't, I don't want to pick on any particular ministry, but we certainly see it in the TV preachers and some of the radio preachers and those who sell lots of books and things. They've taken what should be worship, free offered worship, and turned it into a business. 
Well, Jesus hates that. He hated it then. He hates it now. So I would encourage you, keep your worship very simple, uh, and God will love you for it. And we could go into a lot more detail on that, but we've run way over on time. But you see, this is why the leaders especially started hating Jesus, because they were making the money off all that. But there were some common folks making money off of it too, and so they were starting to get upset. And we will see in a few days that the crowd will turn. Now, he's still got some level of popularity, and we'll see that tomorrow on the next edition of Take 5.